Big shock in Asso Rock as Osibaju has been announced to succeed Buari if Tunubu is not sworn in on May 29th. Hey, my people, may Kuna come hear this one. Um, Osibaju, Yemi Osibaju, the vice president of Nigeria, has just been announced to either succeed President Mubari if. Um, uh, uh, the president elect Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu is not sworn in. And you know the amazing part Peter Obi, uh, he, he, he has seconded to that by saying he even prefer Osibajo than Tunubu to rule the country. He said, he said it that Osibajo is the only man with that very wisdom that can rule Nigeria and rule it to the very best. Let's check the content and know what he actually meant by that very statement, my dear listeners. This is Evening News. Presidential candidate Peter Obi of the Labour Party, LP, expressed his curiosity regarding the decision of the All Progressive Congress, APC, to not nominate Vice President Yami Osibajo for the presidential ticket. Obi made this remark during the late Momodu's birthday celebration in London. He mentioned that he had advised the APC to present Osibajo if they truly desired Nigerian progress. Obi, the former governor of Anambra State, stressed his strong desire to witness Nigerian thrive as a nation. He emphasized the need for a leader who can effectively address the country's challenges throughout each day. During the event, Obi openly voiced his thought, stating, I want to see Nigerian work. I don't hide it any day, any time. I even confronted the APC and asked, if you want to work, why didn't you bring Osibajo? Let's have a, a functional system that benefits everyone, where people are productive, healthy, and prosperous. Earlier, Nigerian News reported that Dele Momodu had shared a video of Peter Obi's arrival at his residence to join in the birthday celebration, posting it on his Instagram account. Momodu expressed his excitement at having the former governor of Anambra State present at the event, highlighted Obi's humility and simplicity. Um, of a truth, if we are to look at it, with a very sincere out and a unique mind, you will see that Osibajo is truly a very sensible man with wisdom to rule Nigeria. Um, if I may make reference, if you can remember vividly when um, President Mobari was on his sick leave, three months sick leave in London, Osibajo handled the country for three good months. And I tell you, the GDP of the country got to a very appreciable uh, uh, level. In fact, the, to the extent that the, 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 the exports began to exceed imports. Yes. And Nigerians got that uh, effect. They, they, felt, they felt it that, yes, the economy is getting to an appreciable level. But the moment President Moore returned, oh my God, everything went back. To the way it used to be. So Osibajo has that very wisdom. He has that very uh, um, brain, the knowledge. He has the economic idea, despite the fact that he is a lawyer. You understand? So if we really want the country to work out, I will tell you that Osibajo is the man. Is the right man to make it work out. What do you think that I've said, my dear listeners? This is not just a word, but it's a reality. That is, if you are part of the realistic people, you, you you join me in this very opinion of mine. You understand what I'm saying? And that is just it. Peter Obi, I'll say you have actually spoken well this very time. And um, and uh, it, it, it's a fact. Only those who know the truth can just accept it. You understand? And that's just it. So, my people, my people, let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take, what your opinion and what your advice on this may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.